I basically lost more than 80% of my income. <laughs> what I love is because it's very bad. <laughs> uh, there was zero, basically zero income for last year. That meant no revenue for a good half of uh, 2020. We were affected quite badly. Hi, I'm Alvin and I'm the owner of Musical Touch. So Musical Touch is an events company uh, where we specialize in providing live bands for weddings, corporate events and private parties. So before the pandemic, uh, we were doing quite well. Uh, I mean, we, we were one of the top companies in, in Singapore uh, providing live bands uh, and stuff. Uh, so when the pandemic hit, uh, suddenly everything just went down to zero. They introduced a ban on live performances. So, I mean, suddenly overnight, uh, just one announcement, uh, we, we start to have zero revenue. Uh, but I still have uh, staff to feed. So we are running on reserves all the way until end of October. Uh, initially, we were not even allowed to do virtual. So we kind of like wrote in to our MPs and, and stuff. So finally in October, they, they, they gave us a green light saying that, okay, we can do live streaming uh, for weddings only. Uh, and, and stuff. So that's where we started to uh, be the first or if not one of the first, I think we are the first like, actually to, to, do, to pivot our business to virtual. Alvin, who is a wonderful innovator in his field, uh, decided that he would provide one of the first uh, live streaming musical acts for wedding couples who are now allowed to hold small gatherings for their weddings. Uh, I would say the first four to five months was a little hard to sell the virtual live band packages. Yeah, because people uh, are very skepti uh, skeptical of it. I fully agree with everyone that a virtual live band can never compare to a physical live band. The couple can, can have a choice. I mean, uh, they, they need to understand what's the most fundamental reason for them to uh, choose a live band as compared to Spotify music. It's because they want to have like interactions, uh, they want to have uh, engagements and stuff like that, which is something that you cannot achieve through Spotify music. So, and how do musicians uh, interact with the audience? It is through like song dedication slips and all that things, uh, whereby the guests can write messages on the dedication slips. Uh, uh, the, the musicians will read out read out all the all the messages and stuff. From Naomi Ng, Adeline, and Yang Koko, may you have a strong and loving marriage. Aww. The only way for us to survive right now, uh, through uh, virtual live streaming. So uh, yeah, so we, we, ha we had a choice, like we, we had to get make a choice whether do we want to uh, pivot our business to do something like that or do we want to go into hibernation mode. I mean, having a live stream is better than no performance at all, so we get used to it. We make the best of the situation. I think it took me quite some, not very long, but a bit of time to adapt. The mood itself changes. Yeah, You no longer can feel the uh, dynamics from the audience. There's no interaction like clapping. Uh, when I look back at how we started from the start all the way until now, uh, I start to think like, wow, how did I do it? You know, that kind of thing. It's, it's really not easy. So you, you need to be passionate in the first place to be able to do something like that. Difficulties will always be there. But I think because we enjoy what we're doing, that's why we do, that's why we stick to it for so long. You know what I mean? So to be in the music world is, uh, to, to, to be a musician in the first place is a struggle. So uh, in the first place, you need to have passion. Uh, it is the passion that keeps musicians going. So if you don't have the passion, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to, to get going. Uh.